Thank you very much, Alan. Well, the rain didn't let up for the GoDaddy Bowl, yet that didn't stop the dedicated fans who came out to cheer for their favorite team, Georgia Southern or Bowling Green. News 5's J.B. Buno has been at the game all evening, and he joins us now live from Lad People Stadium. J.B. Yeah, Mel, good evening to you. It's been raining on and off here at Lad People Stadium. As you can see, it's pretty windy, but I'll tell you what, for Georgia Southern, they've been raining points on Bowling Green in this second half. They're currently up 51-27 to 27 with about seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. For the fans who have come a long way to see these teams, they're getting a lot of offense and loving it. The GoDaddy Bowl. A wet and wild back and forth game between the Georgia Southern Eagles and Bowling Green Falcons. That's a good game, but we're gonna we're gonna bring home the win. Woo! It's it's been a really exciting game. Fast paced offenses, um, just with the rain and everything, making it a little difficult for each team. In the first bowl game for Georgia Southern, thousands of fans made the trip and watched the Eagles put up 23 first half points behind a potent rushing attack. Keep throwing the option. We don't need to run up the middle. Just do the option. Touchdown all day. Fewer fans made the 14-hour drive from Ohio to see Bowling Green. The ones who did saw the nation's most prolific passing offense throw bomb after bomb at 27 points at halftime. We're going to win. <laughs> You're feeling good about it, huh? You, you... Real good. I'm feeling real good. For the fans, the on and off rain was expected. The weather is good, so that's cool. The weather is good, it's raining. No, the rain is no problem, it's not cold. So, you know, it's, it's cool. And if anything, it enhanced the bowl game experience. The first bowl ever, we'll dry out by midnight, no problem. <laughs> as both these teams battle through this Alabama rain and search for a GoDaddy Bowl victory. Reporting in Mobile, J.B. Buno, News 5. We just have another touchdown here for the Eagles of Georgia Southern. There's about 20 times the amount of Georgia Southern fans here in the building here at Lad People Stadium than there are Bowling Green fans. Obviously, Georgia Southern being a lot closer to Mobile, Alabama than Ohio is. So a lot of fans, they're going to be leaving here happy if the score holds up. And right now, it looks like the Eagles of Georgia Southern are pulling away here at Lad People Stadium. For now, reporting live at Lad People Stadium, J.B. Buno, News 5.